So guys, I arrived in Kenya safely. <laughs> And this is evening after I arrived this morning and this is actually in the evening and I'm now walking to go to my brother's house so yeah so I just wanted to let you know guys that I arrived safely I'm safe and sound I'm happy no jet lags <laughs> well rested and now let me just enjoy the cool breeze of Nairobi and uh, tomorrow we go home okay we go to the village so guys uh thank you for watching the video i hope you like it comment down below let me know what kind of videos you want to see of me in the village and uh yeah that's it so i don't know if i'll be able to film in my brother's house if i don't then uh thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next one that is on my tomorrow's video when i go to the village okay so bye guys Oh, this is where the lighting is. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going this direction and this is where the lighting is. <laughs> you guys, uh, I arrived in Nairobi safely and um, yeah, let me just turn the camera around so you see Nairobi. So these are, you know, you know in the jeepney, in the Philippines where we have jeepneys, this is what we use uh, in Kenya as means of transportation. Most of the time we call these matatus. So if you want to go to town, this is where you come, get into one of those, and off you go to town. Okay, so that is one. So this is Nairobi. <laughs> it is a bit windy and chilly, but it's nothing we can handle. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to my brother's house. I went there this morning and I forgot my charger hope I will not be able to and not be lost guys I really wanted to film today but then <laughs> seems the the lighting is not allowing me because look at that if I turn my camera this way I wish I was walking this direction but then too bad I'm walking this direction so I don't know if you guys are gonna have to bear with me on this one but this is my first day in Kenya and so far so good it's just kind of like cold but that's it that's it but I'm happy because unlike um, the Philippines right now I'm just I'm feeling like home even though I've not uh, gone to the village yet but I'm feeling like home because see everybody black around me <laughs> and like in the Philippines now they will if they stare at me they stare at me because I'm holding a camera but like in the Philippines, when they stare at me, they are staring at me because, uh, oops, they are staring at me because I'm black. Okay, so that is the difference. But anyway, let's walk around this neighborhood and see what's, what it has to give. So, guys, tomorrow is Christmas, and I think that is the reason why they are selling chicken, 700 for one because it's Christmas okay so can you see the difference of Kenya and the Philippines can, just by looking at this you can already tell the difference see chicken everywhere <laughs> see still chicken being sold Actually, that is where I'm going. There. So, let's see. I hope it's. I was. Hope, I was. I was. I thought it was going to be far, but doesn't seem far. And I wish I had coins to buy street foods. <laughs> this is when I wish I had coins to buy street food. This is my day one in Kenya, and I don't have any Kenyan money. <laughs> So here they are selling fish. Saseni? Samakin pesangabi? Ah? Oh. Munafunga sangabi? Samoja. Ah. 
anyway sour bus <sighs> so guys you see how they sell fish in Kenya and like where in the Philippines where they just sell like that here they just sell it already cooked <laughs> anyway sour guys did you see how they sell fish so that is one thing that stands out about Kenya and that is one thing that I always miss about Kenya in the Philippines you just go and find and buy raw fish and then you go and cook it for yourself fry it for yourself here you can just decide to buy fish that is already fried and then you all you have to do is just go and uh, cook it or stew it or whatever I don't know if you get it ah, the cool the cool breeze no sweating no sweating <laughs> no more sweating <laughs> so they told me to take this corner I hope I'm going the right direction and here the lighting is actually way much better so guys the other thing I like about Kenya is the cool weather first of all and I don't have to look like my own me I look like everybody else everybody here is black you know so they don't have to I don't have to feel sometimes insecure so I'm good to go oh I forgot another thing guys Kenya is a place where you will walk by and if somebody sees you and they like you they will just have to tell you like oh hi you're beautiful I like you can I have your number and like in the Philippines <laughs> the first question is are you single <laughs> anyway <sighs> I hope I'm going the right direction <sighs> the darkness is here again see so that is like a potato farm or something and uh, yeah that is how they sell water and this is how we fence see with especially on new buildings that is how they fence it with uh what do you call this iron sheets see this one is a new building that is being built so the iron seat another new one iron sheets and see guys because of Christmas that's why you see chicken everywhere you see that also is, a, is where they sell chicken so we've seen three so far okay I hope this is where we are going let's see Is it though? Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Oh, now we have to na kushona. Oh. Isn't it just a kuzo? Now we have to sing happy. Hey, here, Papa. We have to sing happy. Do you want to <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So, have you seen? In Kenya, at least you can find somebody that will repair shoes. If your shoes get uh, broken on the way, someone can prepare can repair it for you. And like in the Philippines, if your shoe tear up, all you have to do is throw it away. Okay. It's becoming dark. Dark and dark. Ha. Oh. They're selling fast foods there. I think Chipombi too and those kind of stuff. So I'm told in this environment, most of the people that live here are Sudanese and Nigerians. So if you see. have you noticed something Kenya there's not a lot of people if this was the Philippines there'll be people behind me look at this the road is clear and it's just six six almost 7 p.m. but still if this was the Philippines this place could be packed here I think you can count the people I've met on the way so far like isn't that amazing people here <laughs> I don't know is it that we don't have a lot of people in Kenya or people are introverts they only go out 
when they feel the need to go. And I hear a blow dryer, meaning that, is that a blow dryer? Oh, it's, oh, maybe, oh, it's car wash. I thought there was an air saloon somewhere. So it seems like a car wash. Uh, anyway, so, like I said, guys, there's not a lot of people in Kenya. And as you can see, in the Philippines where, if I wanted to go here, I would have just easily boarded a tricycle. There's nothing like tricycle here. It's borders, the bikes. Or, uh, yeah, so those ones, I don't know, like I said earlier, I don't have any Kenyan shillings. <laughs> I have... I have zero Kenyan shillings and guys I'm also operating with scaredness because you can walk by people and they can easily snatch your phone <laughs> and in Kenya also if you hear people running you also have to run because you never know what people are running for if one person runs everybody else follows okay so I'm being careful here because I don't want anything to happen and let me show you another thing guys so you see this is how they sell meat in Kenya. See, this is a butchery. And then, I hope you are in the right direction. So here there's Stepa's kitchen, there's a chemist, we call chemist, we call pharmacy or drugstore in Kenya chemist most of the time, see? Chemist. So that's a drugstore. Uh, that's a salon. That's an air salon. Another air salon, see? So, and if you walk there, you can get your hair done easily. And of course, a lot of shops. There's also a booze shop there. They are selling booze. Uh, this is a, this, it says a minimat, but it's kind of closed. There, they are selling water, but we don't drink this kind of water most of the time, anyway. See? And as you can see, this is an estate, and there's not a lot of people. So this is like a mini-mart, yeah? So... Oh! Liquor store, also. So I've seen three so far. And, see, just inside the estate, they are selling uh, gas. And like in the Philippines, you can live inside the estate and you can't get gas. You have to call them. See, they are selling gas inside the estate. That is one thing. Oh, God. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So see, you guys. This is now an estate. In the Philippines, you will easily call this a condominium. But these ones... Uh, estates in Kenya okay the uh, children are playing so in the Philippines people play basketball but here I see this is football I don't know if you call it football but we call it football see so that is what the boys do to keep camp to keep Especially these times when schools are closed. Let me show you what the girls do. Because those were boys. Right? Now let's see. I see a group of girls. Let me see what they are doing. Oh, that's a big bike. Okay, they seem to just be gisting. So, you guys, I think I've shown you the little that I could. I did, and the good thing is, I didn't get lost. 
And <laughs> I don't think I did this video just for next time, for reference, in case I have to come back here next time and I have to ask for direction again. So it is dark. Let me see. Oh, this is better. Yeah, so it is dark. So my brother lives somewhere there. So I want to go up. So I don't know. Let me just end this video here just in case because I know I'll get out of there when it is already dark. I don't know if I'll be able to film, but if I don't, because you know, I like to keep people's privacy. Okay, so if I don't, then I'll see you guys on my next one. That is tomorrow when we go home. Okay, so anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something in Kenya because I've been showing you the Philippines for so long. It's about time that I showed you Kenya, how Kenya is. Alright, so thank you for watching. I hope you do consider subscribing if you haven't already and turn on those post notification bells so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Guys, I'm going to be bringing you legit and lit videos. Okay, so stay tuned and uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.